Lanyu, or Orchid Island, isn't super easy to get to. Hop on a plane in Taidong. A small propeller plane. And take it 64 kilometers across the water. You'll arrive at Lanyu Airport. The indigenous people of Orchid Island are the Tao people. They are also known as the Yami people. But some don't like this name. In their language, Tao means people. So they're just people like you and me. There are about 4,700 Tao people. Their culture is focused on fishing and ocean activities. Out of the 26 indigenous groups, the Tao is the only one focused on a fishing culture. Their traditional clothing is unique to their culture. They were one of the first indigenous groups to work with metal. You could see their unique hats and metal helmets. Because their island is very hot, clothing is simple. For men, it's a loincloth and open vest. For women, it's a sewn top and skirt. The colors of their clothing are often gray, white, red, and black. They have various dances and songs for different purposes, like marriage, religion, farming, fishing, new boats, prosperity, and more. The most famous dance is the women's hair flinging dance. In Tao culture, it is said that the men sing and the women dance. About 80% of songs are sung by men. The most famous ceremony is the men's canoe launching ceremony. You can find more info in the videos linked in the description. There are both English and Chinese language videos. Before we continue, I want to talk about one problem. Nuclear pollution. The mainland of Taiwan has nuclear power plants that bring everyone electricity, but where does their nuclear waste go? It has been sent to Orchid Island since 1982. It was supposed to be gone by 2002, but it's still there as of 2020. The Tao people say that it hurts the farmland and surrounding environment. Even though they've protested in Taipei, there's still no solution. This is a big problem that needs everyone's support and understanding. Canoes are very important to Tao culture. They usually use three colors. Red, the color of dirt. Black, the color of pots. White, the color of seashells. You could see four symbols carved on boats. Totems of people, different shapes for different families. The eye of the sun, which acts as the canoe's eyes, this protects the canoes. Black and white diamonds, which are the canoe's teeth. Jagged red, black, and white lines as waves to keep evil away. Canoes can have other symbols. Like this one has a cross for Christianity. Today, we'll make our own boats. To start, print out the paper linked in the video description. Then, draw your designs on the boat, remembering what we talked about. Directions. You need your canoe, blue, red and black markers, scissors, or a cutter, 
and tape. If you use a cutter, always cut away from yourself. Cut along the lines. You'll have three pieces. The middle white space is the canoe's bottom. You can cut these off. Now you have three pieces. For the canoe sides, cut along the solid lines and fold along the dotted lines. glue around the bottom of the canoe. Curve the sides and stick them to the bottom. When both sides are glued, you can tape the ends to keep them together. Color in any places that need more color.
Now you have a finished boat. Now you can share your boat in the class Padlet at this URL. Thanks for watching!